In this video, you'll learn the best way to do keyword research for Instagram so your posts can get seen by more people on the platform. So let's get started. Okay, so doing proper keyword research for Instagram is so important because it'll help you figure out what are the most popular topics to post on, what are the best hashtags to use, and also what are the best keywords to add to your post captions. So one way to find the most popular hashtags is to check on Instagram itself. So just click on search and just type in your main keyword. In our case, we're gonna type in yoga because we have a yoga profile. So when you type in yoga, you can view a list of the most popular Instagram profiles. You can see some hashtags sprinkled in here and also some yoga studios. But if you want more hashtags, just add the pound sign in front of the keyword and Instagram will show you a list of the most popular hashtags that are currently being used. And you could see the exact number of posts that are using each one of these hashtags. So what you can do is review this list and add the relevant hashtags to your own post. Now this method is great, but it only scratches the surface because we don't have more data aside from what we see here. So we will be using Keywords Everywhere. So go to keywordseverywhere.com and you can install this for either Chrome or Firefox and you're gonna turn it on and go back to Instagram and you'll notice this new link here, generate hashtags. So when you click on this, this window will pop up and Keywords Everywhere will help you generate Instagram hashtags. So all you do is enter your head term and in our case, I just typed in yoga and you're gonna click on generate. Now, Keywords Everywhere found all of these hashtags. It found close to 2,000 hashtags, okay? Now, we also can see how many posts are using each one of these hashtags, including some additional data that we wouldn't have seen just by using the Instagram search function. So, this column here, search volume, shows you the monthly search volume for these keywords here. Now this data is pulled from the Google Keyword Planner. Okay, so keep that in mind. We can also see the average cost per click for Google Ads. You can see the competition score for Google Ads. And you can also see the exact search volume every single month over the past year. And also see the search volume trending percentage in this last column here. Now that we are equipped with all of this data, we can analyze this list of hashtags in a much more accurate way. So what I like to do is click on copy and open up an Excel document and paste this data. Okay, so we have all of the close to 2000 hashtags in the first column. You can see how many posts are using the hashtag, and all the data in Keywords Everywhere is listed out right here. I like to analyze this list to get some ideas in terms of what types of topics I can post about. This one right here stands out to me, yoga inspiration. So there are over 16 million posts using this hashtag, and the search volume is close to 1,000. So this tells me that people are looking for inspiring yoga posts. Yoga practice also stands out to me because the numbers are quite high and it means that people want to find out what other yoga practices they can do. Yoga teacher, so if you are a yoga teacher, you can use this hashtag. Yoga challenge, so if you are part of a challenge, you can use this hashtag as well. So go through here and highlight the ones that are relevant for you and this will give you tons of ideas in terms of what new posts you can publish and you can also copy all of these hashtags and paste it on your profile. And lastly, you can add these keywords in your post text. So you can add, so if you have a post around yoga inspiration, you can add the keyword yoga inspiration in the post text and also use this hashtag. Also, if you have a post about your practice, you can add the keyword yoga practice in your post text and also use this hashtag. Now, Keywords Everywhere sorts this list by the number of Instagram posts that are using these hashtags. Now, one thing that I like to do, aside from just looking at the hashtags with the most posts, is look at the hashtags with the most search volume. 
So I'm gonna click on this right here. Now I can look at the keywords with the most search volume. So I can go through here and find the ones that have good amount of search volume, but a lower number of Instagram posts. So for example, Yoga Hot, this one has a search volume of 135,000, but only 4,893 posts. So this could be a great keyword and hashtag to use on my post that might have a potential to reach a large number of people, but the competition is on the lower side. Also, Yoga Pant, this one has good search volume and a relatively small number of Instagram posts and so on. So this is a great way to analyze these keywords because you wanna know what are the most popular and most searched terms and also see which ones don't have millions of posts using them. So this is how I do keyword research for Instagram. So hopefully you thought this video was helpful. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and if you wanna check out our other videos, feel free to click any of the ones on the screen. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you in the next one.